Hi, so you're thinking about moving to Jupiter and the surrounding area and you want to know about all the hottest new construction options to choose from? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so you've decided you're ready to move to Florida and you know what, you wanna live in Jupiter and the surrounding area, well this video is for you if you're interested in new construction because in my hand I have the list of every new construction community that you wanna know about if you're gonna call this place home. That's right, we've shot a lot of videos about specific communities but never given you the entire list of everything that's available and that's exactly what we're going to do today. But before we do, my name is Andy Johnson with the Andy Johnson Group over at eXp Realty. And if this is your first time joining us on the channel, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click subscribe or ring that bell, because we're posting new videos every week about what it's like to live here, tell you about the hottest neighborhoods, tell you about great deals and everything else that you need to know if you're considering making Jupiter and the surrounding area your home. So listen, like I said, we've done a lot of videos on these communities that I'm gonna tell you about. So you can go into our video library and you can find out more information about them. You can send us uh, messages down below. You can give us a call if you need more info or you can look these up as well. But these are gonna be some of the hottest communities. And of course, I've gotta have a list because if I don't, I'm gonna forget because the, look, I've got, I've got two pages of these things, guys. My memory is just really not that good anymore. Um, but a lot of these I can remember. And starting off, we've got Alton. Alton is a beautiful community that's being built by Coulter off of Donald Ross. You've got three-story townhouses in there as well as single-family homes. And one of the beautiful things about Alton is the Alton Town Center and the life that they have developed around that. It's such an amazing place to call home. Beautiful community center. Those homes are going to range anywhere from 800,000 and really probably about 900,000 to about $3 million currently. I mean, prices are always changing, but that's where we're setting at right, right now. Beautiful green space, great place to call home. Those those homes are a little bit closer together and are longer and more narrow than some of the more conventional homes we'll see um, and did a great video on that one so definitely worth checking out and artistry is our next community another fantastic development by, built by Coulter um, totally different setup than Alton these homes are going to range anywhere from starting at 1 million to probably about the three million dollar range as well um, there's still a lot of building going on in there at, right now They've got a nice community center also. I actually like Alton's a little bit better, but it's still super nice. These homes are, are more traditional in the way of, you know, they're not long and narrow over like Alton, but they sit in an excellent location off of a road called Hood. Drawback to artistry is you do get a little bit of road noise from the Turnpike in 95, but they do have walls up and it is an amazing place to call home. It's very, very close to everything and definitely something worth checking out. Next is going to be Ancient Tree. So Ancient Tree is actually located off of um, North Lake Road um, and it's gonna be located a little bit farther out to the west. It's an excellent community. That community has been developed for a while now, so there's not as much brand new construction. If they have them, there's only gonna be one or two, but we are are starting to see some resales in there already and it's definitely wonderful it's a smaller community so if you're looking for something a little bit more boutique you don't want to have quite as many neighbors um, that is definitely a place to call home Avenir is next Avenir is a really really unique thing around here it is absolutely massive there are multiple builders in there like GL Kenco, they're building a beautiful, high-level country club membership community out there as well. Panther is that course. Um, it's gated. The entrance to that thing is absolutely amazing with beautiful homes um, going up all the way up to 10 million and, and above in that. Um, that is being designed, I believe, by Jack Nicholas and Justin Timberlake, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and so you have all of these different builders in different sections of the community. They actually have two separate kind of community centers, if you will. One hasn't even been built as of when I'm shooting, shooting this video. They're both going to have gyms. They have amazing pools, tennis, pickleball, and then actually some of the communities within Avenir have their own amenities as well. They're building over 500 square feet of commercial 
retail space out there, doctor's offices, shopping, and it's going to be absolutely stunning when it's finished. That is another community that's going to be built a little bit farther west out on North Lake. And the reason for that is that's the only space is left to develop right now. When you look at a map, a lot of Palm Beach, Gar or Palm Beach Gardens and Jupiter, you know, there's really nowhere where they ch can just push directly west. So these are the options um, for builders to kind of move out there. And when it's done, it's going to be absolutely stunning. You even have a 55 and older community out there if that's something that you're after. Up next is a community called Bridgewater. Bridgewater is one of my personal favorites. As I've said before, um, and if you haven't watched our videos, you don't know, I'm from the Midwest. Now, when I lived in the Midwest and people said, I want land, because I did sell real estate there too, they meant they wanted a minimum of three acres to God knows how many. I, I never needed land like that, but I will say I'm partial to larger lots. I like to have space between me and my neighbors. It's just me. And that's exactly what Bridgewater gives. Every home in Bridgewater is on almost an acre, if not more than an acre. And they even have a section called the retreat where you have some two acre, three acre, and five acre lots. There's not very many of those. Now Bridgewater has been mainly built out. It's a smaller community, I think about 107 homes. Absolutely stunning, stunning properties out there. It is a gated community. Um, it's located off of Indian, or just north of Indian Town Road, close to everything, close to 95. When you drive in the first time we did, and I shared this on another video, because we did a video on Bridgewater specifically, my wife said, wow, it doesn't even feel like we're in South Florida anymore. And it doesn't because it's such a unique community um, down here for this area. So Bridgewater is going to come in at about $2 million plus there. Um, and we're actually seeing resales. There was recently a resale out there that sold for 3.7, um, more than what you can get some of the new construction homes for right now. But it's one of, one of my favorite um, communities around right now. All right, so up next is Coretta. Coretta, as of today, right? Because I can only do it today. Coretta hasn't even broken ground yet. Coretta looks like this, and this is not Coretta. I'm gonna tell you about this neighborhood behind me at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned. And again, don't forget, if you have any questions about these or comments, hey, you hate how I say things, tell me below. I wanna hear. Any way I can improve for you, I wanna do it. But Coretta has not even broken ground yet. They're going to be townhomes that are going to be right around a million dollars as of right now. Their location is absolutely amazing. And you know, if you want that lockup and leave second home third home fourth home fifth home kind of feeling where you know it's just easy come enjoy the sunshine come enjoy the beaches um have great food great restaurant great golf and then lock that place up go home and don't have to worry about it coretta is definitely a place that you need to consider okay so fort lux is another community that you need to know about these are luxury condominiums that are direct waterfront property. So Fort Lux is starting around $2 million. There's not too many of those left yet. Fort Lux is, is luxury. Beautiful, beautiful property overlooking the water. Again, similar to what we were just talking about before, you know, the nice thing about grabbing a condo when you come down here is the ability to just come in, enjoy it, lock it up and leave, not have to worry about any of the exterior maintenance, not have to worry about really anything other than how you're going to decorate it and what the temperature is going to be the next day. And if that that's the type of lifestyle you're looking for, Fort Lux may be the one for you. So it's located a little bit farther south in the North Palm Beach, Singer Island area. Up next, we have the Reserve at Tequesta. So the Reserve at Tequesta is located in Tequesta. I absolutely love Tequesta. Little shout out to Tequesta. All of these really touch each other, right? And when I say all of these, I mean Palm Beach Gardens, Jupiter, Juno Beach, North Palm, and then Tequesta. Tequesta is kind of the farthest north and it's really pushed to the east. So it's really a beachfront community for all intents and purposes. Now, one of the nicest things to me about Tequesta is there's really no reason to be in Tequesta for, for most people unless you live there. And what that means is it's a little bit quieter. It doesn't mean there's a lack of shopping, a lack of restaurants. It just means the traffic I think is a little bit softer as far as I'm concerned. And, and it just, it's just got a really, really cool vibe to it. It really does just relaxed, beachy feel, at least, at least to this guy, it does. And what the Reserve at Tequesta is gonna provide are some excellent affordable options for here, starting at about 850 that would allow you to call Tequesta home. So definitely something that you're gonna to want to consider. Okay, so here's another great one that's being built, and that is the Ritz Carlton at Palm Beach Gardens, right? Everybody knows the Ritz. The Ritz actually already has a property here on Singer Island, but these are being built 
right on PGA Boulevard. Now, if you're not familiar with the area, that won't mean much to you, but if you are, that is prime real estate, folks, as prime as it gets. They're building it right on the Intracoastal. Um, this land has been ready for development for some time, and they finally came in and made it happen. It, it truly is just such a stunning property. You know, they're still right now putting it up, so it's, it's, it's not finished, but the artist renditions of what is going to be there is absolutely fantastic. You know, there's going to be shopping, there's going to be restaurants, and, and it's really going to be, as, as with everything the Ritz does, just a, a magnificent luxury property to call home. Again, you've got a condo style, lock it up and leave. You're going to have everything that you can expect that's going to come along with the Ritz when you live over there. you got some price tags that are going to match it. You know, of course, um, they're going to start at the high $2 million range and go on up. Then we've got Sea Glass. So Sea Glass is just it's one of my favorite new condos that has has been built up here i, I just I, I truthfully i don't know the architect that, that did the building i probably should i apologize i don't it's a truly beautiful building um beautiful views of the water it's located farther farther north and they're very large condo units with just stunning, stunning views. Very private, 100% luxury. It is a smaller building in the grand scheme compared to some others, so it's got more of that boutique feel to it. So if that's what you're looking for, sea glass is definitely something that you got to consider. And I want to do a specific video on sea glass just because I like it so much. So um, be, be watching for that. Um, Symphony at Jupiter. This is another one that we have done a video on. So Symphony at Jupiter is a very small single family home community it's really just about two streets there's there's not a lot to it you know not a ton of amenities but beautiful beautiful homes so i really like the spacing that they've done between you got one and two story options over there um you know they're gonna they're gonna take you up into the million dollar range as well and then we've got driftwood i wanted to talk about driftwood because it's an example of something that we have here driftwood's located over in the singer island palm beach shores area of palm beach county which is basically directly um out to the east uh, from palm beach gardens so what this is is a really small boutique condo building i believe there's five units maybe four and there's other buildings like this out there they build them you know amenities tend to be pretty light maybe you have a swimming pool but that's about it you know the cost is spread out between a few units and so they they keep them pretty low to keep costs down in most of the case from what i've seen but they're awesome awesome units you have beautiful views beautiful layouts and so it's totally worth mentioning if that's something that would be up your alley we've got a couple different choices um, to choose from so i wanted to make sure and mention that but okay there we go now where am i standing right why of all the beautiful scenes can, that I can show you beaches um, you know piers beautiful homes in, in, in my standing here and and that's because this is uh, another brand new community that I think is one of the best values that's going to be out there I've done a video on this community before I'm currently located in the East Point Country Club so here I believe they're gonna build between 70 or might be 76 homes they're all going to be two-story properties um, they're probably gonna start at about 1.5 or maybe started at about 2 million it's gonna be unique so a lot of East Point was developed in the 1980s even into the 1970s and so you know land wasn't the premium that it is now so these are going to be uh, much more in line with what we see built you know lot lines are gonna be a little bit tighter we're gonna have larger homes on these lots but they're gonna be absolutely stunning and they come with the amazing value that is East Point Country Club and right Right now, you know, if you were looking to come down here and have a golf membership, East Point for a full golf membership is about 50% less than the next least expensive course here in the Palm Beach Gardens Jupiter area. And you get two courses, 36 holes of golf. They just built a brand new clubhouse. There's a couple restaurants on site. The golf courses are absolutely wonderful. You've got a gym. I, I mean, the value that comes with living in here is absolutely amazing. And you can see they're just now building the infrastructure on this. So it's something you could get in ground floor um, and get exactly what you want. Definitely, definitely something worth checking out. But listen, you know, this is just the new construction that's right here in this area. And it is somewhat limited, right? Palm Beach Gardens in Jupiter um, is on the edge of a lot of protected land, so they can't 
build a lot more here. You know, we definitely have infill lots that you can get you into new construction if that's something that you're looking for as well. But you know what? Maybe cons new construction isn't a big deal to you. Maybe you don't care at all. Heck, maybe you like older buildings. I don't really know. You know, what we're here to do is help you discover what you're looking for. Um, you know, we do have people that reach out to us from these videos and ask us questions, you know, about school district, about location, um, heck, about almost anything you can think of. And, and you know what, the truth is, folks, I don't always have the answer, I really don't. But I guarantee I know you where I can get the answer and I can get you the right answer. So if you're thinking about moving to Jupiter or the surrounding area and you want the best information possible, I encourage you to give me a call, leave some remarks below, love to hear your thoughts. You hate the video, you love the video, I want to know about it. Please tell me um, if there's other communities that you'd like to know about, other areas that you'd like to, us to do videos on, be happy to do it. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Can't wait to see you on the next one.